I'm going to show you how to work out the area of a triangle. A triangle, like all other shapes, it has a special formula. The formula for a triangle is half times base times height. Half times base times height. Very important to note that when working with triangles, we need to locate the height. The height is actually the vertical height. So it's the height that goes straight down. Very important. It's not the slant height. Be careful. The slant height is the height that's slanting. The vertical height is the height that meets the base at right angle. So whenever you're looking for the vertical height, look for the height that meets the base at 90 degrees. Very important rule to know. Now that we know what is the vertical height, what is the base, let's use the formula to use and to work out the example here and I'm going to do a couple more examples also to get you used to it even better. This example here, we have a triangle and it's marked with the base of 8 and the height of 9. Now notice we have a slant height and we have our vertical height and we said the vertical height is the one that meets the base at right angle at 90 degrees. So the height is perpendicular. Perpendicular means it is right angle or meets at right angle with the base. So the height and the base meet at right angle. Very important rule to note. Now we can locate the base. We can locate the height. Let's use our formula to work it out. A equals half times base times height. Very important to write the formula. You're going to get marked for that. Half times base times height. Half times the base. The base is 8. There it is. And the height is 9. So half times 8 times 9. 8 times 9, 72. Half times that means half of 72. So half of 72, 36 centimeters squared or 36 square centimeters. So the area of this triangle, everything inside, the space inside this triangle is 36 square centimeters. Let's do some more examples. Okay guys, we're going to work out the area of this triangle. Where is it? It's marked in red. Now we can tell it's a funny looking triangle. It's an obtuse angle triangle. We have a base of 12. We have the slant height 18, another height 15, and we want to work out this area. What do we notice? We notice that the base 12 and the heights don't meet at right angle. So guess what? We can't use this height nor can we use this height. We have to find the vertical height of the triangle, meaning the highest point all the way to the base measured vertically. As you can see, we cannot use this height nor can we use this height. We said we have to work out the height that is vertical for the triangle. We can't work this out without the vertical height. Very important. Where is the vertical height? There it is. It's the highest point of the triangle all the way to the base. The base is here. And it meets that height at right angle. So basically right there, the base and the vertical height from the highest point to the base. This is the vertical height. Very important for us to recognize that. So be careful, we don't use 15, nor do we use 18. That's just the measurements for those sides, but we don't use them at all. Let's get started. Well, we need to know the formula. Of course, we have to memorize it. A equals half times base times height. Half times 12 is the base. And the height is 9. So the vertical height is 9 and the base of the triangle is 12. 
half times 12 times 9, 108. So half of 108, 54 square centimeters is the area of this triangle marked in red. So all this space inside is 54 square centimeters. We have our base, we have our vertical height, very important vertical height, and our base. We multiply them together times by half, half times base times height, and we get the answer for the area of this triangle. Let us do one more. Okay guys, last example. Let's look at this triangle. Well, we are looking for the base and the height. The formula is half times base times height. So the base of the triangle and the height of the triangle. How do we know where the base is and where the height is? Well, we know that the base and height must meet at right angles. They must meet at right angles. So the vertical height meets the base at right angles at 90 degrees. Very critical point. So here we have this side 9 and this side 11 and we are told that the height of the triangle is 8. So where is the base? Where is the vertical height? They meet at right angles. So guess what? This is our base and this is our height. But the shape or the triangle has been rotated. So the base is, or the base is 11, and the height is 8. As you can see, they meet at right angles, they meet at 90 degrees. So the height of the triangle from the point to the base is 8, and the base is 11. Very important not to get tricked. This is not our base because it does not meet the height at 90 degrees. So this is our base meeting our height at 90 degrees. So our base is 11, our height is 8. Now that we can identify our base and our height, we can work out this triangle using the formula. Half times base times height. Half, the base is 11, there it is, meeting at right angles with the height 8, Eleven times 8, 88, half of 88, 44 square centimeters is our answer, so the total area inside here is 44 square centimeters. Remember, the base and height meet at right angles. That's how we know and we can identify where the height is and where the base is. They meet at perpendicular at 90 degrees.